What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Adrenaline Motorsports and RCs. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit that like button, subscribe, uh, so you can see more content. If you're coming back, thank you for coming back and uh, watching my videos. So today, hopefully you guys uh, ended up seeing my last video that I did with the uh, Maverick and the Team Associated running on 3S. Um, <clears throat> I'll tell you what, man, the, these things, the, the, at least the Maverick, crazy fast, crazy, crazy fast. Uh, the team associated, ridiculous. <laughs> On 3S, these things are just ridiculous. Um, so I, I'm kind of new to this whole um, LiPo battery. And, um, you know, I know I've been with, I started off with a 2S and uh, the 2S you punch it I know it's it's gonna the car's gonna flip over with the 3S it especially with the Maverick I would uh, be flipping the throttle and basically when I would flip the throttle to end up getting more speed out of it it would the Maverick would just start wheeling and eventually flip so I'm still kind of learning the whole throttle with uh, with the 3S um, unfortunately, the last video, I wasn't able to get a speed run out of the, both of these on 2S and 3S to see how fast they go mile, per, mile an hour wise, but, um, I did find the GPS. Um, if you guys ended up seeing my YouTube shorts, I had, uh, three packages that came in. I did a video before that, but... What happened was, let me get these out of the way. I don't know what happened with the video. Um, when I went to edit it, something happened and whatever. But anyway, uh, so one of the packages that I got was this right here. I had gotten some Allen Allens for a drill. Uh, as you guys know, as you guys have seen, I use this little Ryobi Tech 4 little drill. Um, it's got, as you guys can see there, it's got two speeds on it. You guys can see. Um, I use this thing religiously on these cars. This thing's got some power. It's, you know, I love using it. So. Since I love using that thing so much, I ended up buying these right here. You guys can take a look at that. So these wrenches, these Allens are, you got a 1.5 there. 1.5. You got 2.0 uh, right there. <laughs> and 3.0. And a, oh, I'm sorry, and a 2.5. I thought that was a 3.5, but this is a 2.5. Uh, so you got these four. I got them on uh, Amazon. Um, I am an affiliate with Amazon, so I'm going to click. I'm going to put the links down at the bottom. Uh, so these links that I am putting down at the bottom from Amazon, I am an affiliate of uh, an Amazon program. So you guys can hit those links. You know, help help me out so I can end up purchasing more of these RCs and end up doing more content for you guys. Uh, so this is the one package that came in the mail for me for this scenario. Um, the second thing I had gotten was, which I have here, um, the second thing I have gotten are actually hubs for my Tamiya TT01. Uh, I took it out the other day on a 2S and um, hit the curb, broke the hat, broke the the wheel hub, and um, had to order new ones. So ordered new ones. They came in. Turned out that <laughs> they are from Three Racing. Turned out that these knuckles that I bought for the TT01, I have to use. Uh, three racing drive shaft for, for the front. 
So I had to order them. So we're waiting on that. The third thing that came in the mail was, I don't remember. Cause I already opened it up. I did a video of it and the video was turned out to end up crapping out. So I don't know what happened. I don't know. But anyway, so in my last video, I had mentioned that I had gotten a GPS and I was going to do a speed run with the Maverick and the uh, team associate, but I didn't have, I couldn't find the uh, GPS that I got. So after I did that video, I uh, went looking for it and uh, I went looking for it and I uh, found the GPS. So I picked up this GPS right here. It's a Sox X O S S. I can't pronounce it. Sox X Sox X X Sox X Sox. I I don't know, but that's what it's um X O S S. Again, I got it on Amazon. I think I got it for like thirty bucks or something or, or, or other. Um, twenty nine ninety seven, I believe it was, or twenty nine ninety nine. I know it was under thirty dollars that I got it. Um. And so far, I mean, I know this thing works. I have tried it in my car to see if it works. Uh, the other thing about this is that it has a connection to your phone. So you can connect this bad boy to your phone. That is another reason why I purchased this thing. Uh, because I know there's GPSs out there that you can that are specifically for the RCs. That um, Again, Traxxas has one that you connect to your phone and everything. But... They're just so expensive, and I'm not saying that I am a, <laughs> a poor guy, but I, uh, you know, I'm I'm pretty cheap. <laughs> I'm a kind of cheap guy. I know this hobby isn't cheap at all, but you know, it's you know, I try to find alternatives, which we all do. We all try to find alternatives of stuff. So anyway, um, this thing, you know. I'm you press the play pause button and she'll turn on the GPS. There we go. All right, so as you guys see, let's give it a sec. You guys can see right there, the GPS is blinking. There we go, it is connected. I know we're not going anywhere. I'm not moving, so, all right. Um, so yeah, I mean, guys, it, it, you can you can connect this to an Android or a uh, iPhone. So you know, if you guys want to pick one up, um, I will put a link in the description down below, and uh, you know, we'll uh, pick yourselves up one of these. All right, so let's well, get that out of the way. So. Let's get into the cars. Um, if you guys saw my last video, the Maverick here did a little run with it and I completely, completely forgot to add um, a little bit of, uh, whatchamacallit, a Loctite on the um, on that grub screw that comes out of the differential. So, hey, on 3S, this thing is just ridiculously fast uh, to the point that it's ridiculously fast. <laughs> uh, again, the other good thing that I did with it was lower the, uh, the wheelie bar back here because... I'm telling you, if I didn't lower the wheelie bar, this thing with the 3S would just flip. Easy, easy. Um, the other thing, I the grub screw came off. The other thing are the body posts in the rear, as you guys can see there, are completely gone, sheared off. They broke off. Um, so I had already had one broken, and I'm like, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna send it, keep doing what I'm doing. And then finally, with the flipping and everything, the other one broke. So, 
Definitely got to buy body pose for this thing. And of course the body, we all know these bodies, if um, we don't take care of them, they are going to break. As you guys can see here in the front, hopefully you guys can see here in the front that it's all cracked up right there and everything. Uh, the back, you got grass hanging out on the side right here and everything, all up on the back. So these bodies, man, if uh, you don't do the whole shoe goo and uh, 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 sheetrock tape, the mesh tape, then you're going to end up destroying these bodies, which I knew I was just way too excited and I wanted to go out and have some fun with this thing. Especially since, you know, my buddy Mark came over and uh, I was already running the uh, Team Associated before he came over. So... I let that one rest because that motor ended up getting very, very hot. And so I figured, you know what, fuck it, screw it. Let me bring out the uh, the Maverick. So what I'm going to do now, so this doesn't happen again, I got a blue Loctite, which you guys can see here, blue Loctite, it's blue. I, I know the bottle's red, but... As you guys can see, it's blue. So this is the lock plate you can actually use and it's not going to free the stuff forever. I mean, lock it up forever. You'll still be able to use the drill and, uh, you know, put it on. Oh, the other thing about these is that they are magnetized, um, which is a nice, 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 nice feature about it is that they are magnetized okay so that's going to go like that put some uh, Loctite on this you know not much I'm not going to put much on here I was going to put some a little bit and then we're going to look uh, after I do this we're going to look over the Maverick and see if anything has broken like a lot of people has uh, you know, been kind of upset about that theirs have basically broken. You know, and I get it. Don't 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 get it twisted. I get it. There you go. All right. So that is tight ladies and gentlemen boys and girls of all ages so hopefully all right so I can't tighten it up anymore so hopefully that is not come, going to come loose again so let's put that out to the side there uh, I'm not going to need this all right so let's look over the Maverick and see what happened well, I know nothing much really happened to it because I didn't really bash it. I really stopped. If you guys saw the video, um, I'll have the link over here somewhere. Um, if you guys saw the video, you saw that, like, you know, got to a point that, you know, I basically stopped because the battery was, the battery tray, as you guys see right here, the battery tray was too close. So I got to extend, I got to move that tray back. So I can be able to put the, um, so I can be able to put a 3S in there. Um, if not, this the 3S is just going to keep moving around in there, and I'm scared that it's going to go boom. And I don't want it the 3S to go boom, because then if that goes boom, or more of a boom, then this is going to light up on fire. And, you know, while it's still intact, I'm going to want to play with it. Um... So as I'm looking around here, guys, I don't see anything to out of the ordinary, uh, per se. I really okay. Got a. Those screws are a little bit loose. 
so I really don't see anything out of the ordinary that is going to cause um, any damage with this thing. Um, the arms, which a lot of people have been mentioning that their lower arms have been breaking and I mean I'm moving this thing and nothing well that's that's just the steering oh, let me flip it so the steering here you know what the hell was that something just went pop Oh, okay, so it looks like these screws up here are a little bit loose. Nope, they're tight. Those are tight. Tight. Everything's tight, man. Um, nothing's broken on here. I mean, I'll bring you guys closer. You guys have a look here. I, uh, really, the arms and everything are all good to go um, you know I don't see other than the body post back here I don't see anything that's broken so as of right now I can say this Maverick is a win so I don't know the issue of what's going on with uh, everybody's Maverick basically taking a crap um, and breaking as much I mean granted everybody's saying that you know Flipping it, if it flips twice or whatever, it's gonna something breaks. The arms already broke and it's only flipped like twice. I mean, don't get me wrong, that sucks, but I don't know. Could it be that the one that I got is an updated version of the ones that other people out in the UK have had? Have had I'm sorry um, dude I don't know I don't know um, but I'm not other than the body posts and the the axles that again hobby recreation products thank you for standing out those axles so I can be able to make these videos and uh, guys go check them out hobby recreation products.com um, I'll put a link in the description down below um, just really happy with them, with uh, with everything. They help me out and everything. So, yeah, go 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 to their website. Go check them out, cause they uh, great customer service and everything. So, let's move on ahead with the team associated, the rival MT10 here. All right, so the team associated rival MT10. Guys, I have to tell you, again, a product that I got from HobbyRecreationProducts.com. Again, the link is down below. Check them out in the description. I can't say anything bad about this thing. Um, I really can't. I, I can't. Like, this thing took the hits. It, it took the flipping. Uh, you know, I have flipped this more times than I have flipped the Maverick. And I have to tell you, man, <laughs> this thing is still freaking going. Guys, Team Associated Rival MT10. If you're looking for, I'm going to say an upgrade from the Maverick and you know you're kind of low on funds you're looking for an upgrade guys this rival MT-10 I know everybody is jumping on the uh, Arma bandwagon and uh, you know I kind of don't blame you I really don't because I kind of want to jump on that bandwagon because I really really like the Big Rock uh, the Arma Big Rock might end up being my next one that I'm going to get um, The only thing I can say about this is I lost two of these uh, 
Come on. I lost two of these. <laughs> these body clips. I lost two of them. That is the only thing I bad that I can say about it. Um, no, I mean, guys, this, 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 it. it like, I, I, nothing's broken. Nothing is loose. Um, nothing's broken. Nothing's loose. There really is not. Anything bad I can say about this thing? Uh, I mean, you know, you run it hard. Um, like I was doing speed runs with it and everything. And guys, this thing, I, th this thing's just bad ass. Um, the motor did get hot after a full battery pack. Um, so if you guys are worried about that then, you know, just let the car rest. Uh, it, it, yep, it, it, the motor gets hot and it gets tired just like you and I do. So, you know, just let this thing rest. And that's exactly what I did. I let it rest, uh, cooled down the motor, let the motor cool down. Um, threw that 3S on it, man. Took it out again. Pick this up at Hobby Recreation Products. You can pick it up for uh, $309.99. Uh, they also have uh, one that comes with a battery and a charger. Uh, that's going to cost another $60 on top of the regular price of this. So $309.99 for just the car. A $369.99 for, um, for the one with a battery and a charger. Go, guys, go check them out. They are absolutely, their, their customer service, and I'll tell you, their customer service is great. Um, so, you know, go, go check them out. They'll, they'll help you out. Um, I mean, this, this, I can't, I can't, <laughs> I don't have anything bad to say about this team associated. Um, it, it's, I've already taken it through. Two full 2S batteries, um, a 3S battery, and I wasn't even done with the 3S battery. The 3S battery, so I had a lot of juice. I was pretty much done for the day. Uh, it was starting to get late, but this thing was just taking it, man. This thing was taking it. So what I'm going to do now, uh, my next video, what will be happening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is... Speed run. That is a definite. So I'm going to run it on 2S and I'm going to run it on 3S uh, for both of them. Which you guys saw, I put the Loctite on the uh, on the Maverick. We're definitely going to take that, be taking that back out again. Uh, I did find a skate park that's a couple minutes away from me. So I am going to be hitting that one day with the Maverick. And more than likely the... MT-10 is going to be going with me. Um, so we're going to see what that's like. The other thing I want to do is because the body is already getting trashed because of this thing flipping so much. And I, yes, that's, that's the other thing. The body on the rival MT-10. Um, that thing's flipped over a lot more times. Maverick. I'm, I'm pointing over there, but the, the body for the Maverick is over there. So you can feel the quality of the body. Uh, the body for the team associate, a team associated uh, is a little bit thicker than the Maverick. So that's why this thing has a tendency to crack so easy. Um, because this whole front end right here, this whole front end, the only thing that's holding this together, I lie to you not. <laughs> the only thing that's holding this front end together right here is the sticker for the, that is a makeshift grill. Only thing that's holding it together. Uh, now this thing, guys, this body is a lot 
I'm not a lot, but it's thicker than the Maverick body. Um, it just looks badass. This body just looks freaking killer, guys. Um, you know, I've top is nice and scratched up, as you guys can see there. But hey, man, look, guys, I don't really, I, I don't, I don't have anything bad to say. Oh, I just remembered the other package that I had gotten was the Mook 3S batteries. So that was the third package I just I just completely uh, remembered that came um, in that last video that I wanted to talk about. That was the third package that had came out was the uh, the Mook 3S light bulb. Guys, this thing comes in a little cardboard box, but whatever, you know. So you guys can see right there, that's how it comes, just like that. Um, you have your instruction manual, and you have your two slots for your Mook batteries. Again, I will be putting a link in the description for these batteries. Um, I have gotten the 2S, I have gotten the 2S Mook, and I got these. What I didn't realize with these was that this doesn't have a Dean's plug. It has an e EC5. It's an EC5 plug. Um, I kind of didn't pay attention. I was just too excited to get it. Um, I actually picked these up for two uh, 3S. 23S 5200 uh, milliamp hour 11.1 .1 volt um, and it's an ADC uh, battery. It, guys, I like it. I, I, I like the MOOC. I, I like MOOC. Um, so, so the battery is a little big to put in the tray for the rival MT10. Uh, what I ended up doing, I had some styrofoam that I put it underneath in the in the tray here. I had some styrofoam that I just ended up putting in the tray right here and put the battery on top of that, strapped it down, go have a ball. Uh, it's what I have to do because the battery because the battery ends up sitting off. Anyway, but anyway. But um yeah guys, I you know I picked these two batteries up. For sixty something dollars, on again on Amazon, um, more guys, more because of Amazon, you you have Prime, it gets shipped out the next day. Uh, you can have it in the next day or the next two days, and uh, you know the next day, the next two days, and so you know I want this stuff fast, man. <laughs> so I just ordered it off of uh, off of Amazon and. After that one run, uh, the other battery that was supposed to be in this box is actually in my armor can. Um, in my armor can, in there because it still has charge in it, and I don't leave my lipos out just chilling around the house. I put them in that armor can, and uh, that's where they stay until I'm ready to go play out, play again with these things. But um, basically, that's kind of where I'm at. I also wanted to talk about there is a Facebook page, guys. Um, you know, I started a Facebook page, uh, same exact name, Adrenaline Motorsports and RCs. Hey, come by. For some odd apparent reason, it's under private. The page is not, the group in Facebook is not private. It is a public group, um, but I have it in private because I can't change it back to public because when I was making the group, I put it in private so I could work on that group page because then I was going to make it public, but now Facebook will not allow you to make a group page public after you've made it private. So the page is supposed to be public, but unfortunately on Facebook, it is public, be, private, because I can't change it back to public. So, on that note, guys, go check us out on Facebook. Um, post your cars, 
post whatever you want on there uh, on whatever it's RC page whatever hell you want post it up on there um, if you guys haven't yet hit that like button subscribe so you guys can see more content and uh, I will see you guys in another video so guys have a good one have fun and you damn well keep RCing man have a good one guys